Okay, so now it's time to shift gears and, and set up a custom conversion. Go to your go to your go to your three tabs at the top. We have these three tabs open. We're gonna keep working with these tabs. Go to no, not these ones, the pages, the cartridge pages. Go to your, your opt-in page. Okay, so here's what a custom conversion. Go to the opt-in page. Okay, so here's the custom conversion. As you start to run ads, the goal is to get people to click and come here. That's your landing page. That's the goal. But the ultimate goal is to get them to click the button, opt in, and land on the thank you page. Click on the thank you page. Not the call confirm, just the, the thank you page. Not this one, the other one. The ultimate goal is to get people here, right? And we'll go in and edit this stuff, right? So that's not important right now. Just the link is what we need right now. So the ultimate goal is to get people here. That's a custom conversion. So we're telling Facebook, hey, man, we're going to run ads with you, Facebook, but we're only willing to pay you if you can get me people here. So what we're doing with that link is two things. We just set up a custom audience. That's one. But now we're going to set up a custom conversion to let Facebook know that this is the most important page to get people to. So as we start to run ads, that's being very specific. We're telling Facebook, hey, man, it's here. Get people here. We will pay you if you can give me people here, right? That's a custom conversion. So let's copy that link at the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to now go into the ads manager and we're going to click on events manager. This is where your custom conversion is at, is at over here. So we're going to, we're going to click, we're going to hover over the blue triangle to the left, that blue triangle, and we're going to go to custom conversions. Okay, perfect. Click the blue button, create custom conversion. Okay, so very similar to the custom audience, um, but, but very different. This is just letting Facebook know our, our ultimate goal. So go ahead and, and paste it in right there. But what we need to do at the top is we need to name it. So the name, people who land here are seller guide leads. Just like our audience name, seller guide leads. Same thing, seller guide leads. That's the custom conversion. This is the specific link we're trying to get people to. So right below, you see that, that, that blue, select your own category. Click on that, select your own category. And this is just gonna give you recommended, click on the dropdown. This is going to give you all the 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 act all the um, um, data points that Facebook considers a custom conversion. So, are we sending people to a page where they enter their payment info information? Are we sending people where they complete a registration? Right. So, down if you scroll down, you'll see lead. That's the most relevant, the most accurate one for that we can use. Lead. So. We're gonna categorize this one as a lead and we're gonna click on create. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna to go to web configuration. Oh, you clicked on, did you click on done? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta do it again. You're clicking too fast. We had to click on um, web configuration. So, okay, so now over here, this is the whole new Apple iOS update, um, which, uh, you don't really need to know about all that stuff, but this is just a, a new setting that we have to we have to update. So right there at the top, domain verified. Go ahead and click on that one. Domain verified. You see your domain right there. Right domain, here. No, domain verified. Uh huh. Yeah, click on that. Okay, so manage events, and then click on edit. Okay, so now over here, we're gonna click on the green add event. And then right here, these two drop downs. The first one, click on that. You're gonna click on custom conversion. So custom conversion right there. And then choose an event. And we're looking for seller guide leads, which is right there. Okay, perfect. And then click on the blue button at the bottom, submit. And then yes, I confirm. And then go ahead and apply. Okay, perfect. So click on okay. And now let's go back to custom conversions. Go ahead and click on okay, get out of here. Click on that, that triangle to the left and you're gonna click on custom conversions. So this is what's very, very important. Um, no, click on custom conversions. Hover over the blue triangle and click on custom conversions. 
Okay. So what's very important when it comes to custom conversions is once, once we set it up, we just did, we just set it up. It's very important to come back here. It shows inactive. So now go to that page, open up that tab. You have it up there to the top, go to the thank you page, go to your, your, your thank you page. And now we're going to refresh it. So when you refresh it, it gives Facebook the ability to read it for the first time after you set up the custom conversion. So we refreshed it to check the pixel. No, go back, go back. Okay, go, no, go back to the page, Carter page. Okay, so refresh the page. So now as you check that pixel helper, go ahead and click on it again. Again, this is why I use what? pixel, click on it again. Right here? Yep. Click on it again. Yeah. So now you can see your custom conversion. So there's seller guide leads. Again, this is very, very important because you got to be able to test your stuff to make sure it's, in, it's installed correctly. So it is now you go back to Facebook, go back to the ads manager and refresh that page. So right here, it shows inactive. Refresh it. Active. Now you're active. ready to start running ads. You know, so... There's a few more things we got to do, but now that 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 is active. Now you're ready to start capturing leads. So that is how you set up a custom conversion. That's the most important in your business. That's the most important page you're trying to get people to. And you have to be very specific and tell that to Facebook. And, and that's what we just did by setting up a custom conversion. So um, any questions on that part? No, I think, uh, you know what? I think I got it, but okay. Let, let me show you where that, that that's going to be. Also, let's go to the three lines real quick and go to ads manager. So click on the three lines on the top, go to ads manager. So what we did today is we installed the pixel. We set up custom audiences and we set up our custom conversion. Those are the three most important when it comes to running ads to a page, most important. So now if you go through, click on the, the green one, create, let me show you where that custom conversion is now. So from this point on, what you'll be doing is running conversion ads, conversions. So click on okay. that, click on that, and then click on continue. So now as you come in and set up the ad, there's three steps to setting up the ad. And we're not going to run an ad right now, but let me show you where the custom conversion is at um, because it's, su it's super important. Um, so here, you're always going to hit the drop down. You're always going to go with housing. So click on that drop down, go with housing, real estate. You'll always go with housing and then you'll scroll down and then you'll always make sure that the campaign budget optimization is off, which it is. Sometimes it's on. So always make sure it's off and then click on next. That's step one. Now we come into step two. As we come into step two, you'll see right there, your pixel. It says homes and towns pixel. So we know that we, we know that the right pixel is in the account. And then you're going to click inside, choose an event. Go ahead and click in there, and you're going to see your custom conversion, seller guide leads. Okay. So now, as again, as we go and run ads, we're being very specific. We're telling Facebook, hey, man, that's the most important page. When they click on the ad, they click on learn more. That's when we have to tell Facebook what link to take them to. So we'll do that when we'll do that when we set up the ad. When they click learn more, they're going to the landing page. Facebook needs to know about the landing page. Yes, for sure. That's the goal, the landing page. But the ultimate goal is the conversion event. The ultimate goal is that link, seller guide leads. So click on that. And 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 and, and as long as you have that there, you're you're ready to go. That right there is what captures leads, my friend. So so okay. as we go into our next call which our next call is, is, is running an ad. Um, that's when we'll, we'll go through the full blown setup of this part, but I just wanted to, to highlight this part and show you where the custom conversion is. And then also, you know what, one last thing, might, might as well show you this part, scroll down. So there's our custom conversion. We always want to make sure it's right there. Now, right here, go back up, go back up audiences right here, right here. So now let's say, for example, ad number two and on what we're going to always want to do is target the intro video 25%. As we start to go on to maybe ad number three, go ahead and click on intro video 25%. These are your custom audiences. 
So these are audiences that you can retarget. These are audiences that you can target and show the next ad to. You're going to always target Wesley Chapel. You're going to always, if you scroll down, scroll down, go to the map or yeah, go to the, get out of there, click out of there. Yeah, click out. So scroll location, United States, hover over the United States. You're going to always, edit. Edit, yeah, you're going to always edit this and put in your city, but you're going to also always target the intro video. You're going to want to always target the web page visitors only, right? So you're going to always be able to put in your city right here, but you always want to target, or I should say retarget those custom audiences. Okay. Now, what you'll also do is you'll also exclude. So our, so we're going to include the intro video 25%. Go ahead and click on right below and go back up. Intro video 25%. Click below it. Search existing audiences. Click inside there. Go with, go with um, seller guide page visitors only. So let's say this was ad number three. Ad number three, I'm retargeting those audiences. What I'm also going to do, click out of there, click out, click away. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to exclude. So if this is ad number three and on, I'm going to exclude. Go ahead and click on exclude. I'm going to exclude, click in the box, search existing audiences. And I'm going to exclude the leads. Seller guide leads audience. Those are people who do not need to see my ads anymore. They've already opted in. And I may also want to exclude my appointments, my appointments. So click again, see if you see the appointment. There's the appointments. So if you've already scheduled an appointment with me, you don't really need to see an ad again, right? So you want to exclude, those are the two audiences that you'll always exclude, exclude from this point on, okay? Appointments and leads. And everybody else you're going to include, and that's the top part. Intro video, 25%. Seller guide tip number one video, 25%. Seller guide tip number two video, 20, right? So you're gonna always wanna include those audiences as you start to build more. Um, so that's the audiences, that's the custom conversion. And then that's installing the, the Facebook pixel. So that was everything, man. So any any questions on this at all? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's a, lot, a lot to take in, but- uh... yeah. And this is all, this is, I mean, this is, you'll, you'll continue to create audiences around videos, but again, what we're doing on the webpage, that's all one time thing. We got the audience of the, of the webpage visitor only. We got the audience of the leads. We got the audience of the appointments. You never got to do that again. So once it's set up, it's set up. So in the custom conversion, you never got to do that again. Now it just comes down to knowing how to run this ad and that's it, you know, so that's what we'll go over on, on our next on our next um, on our next call. Okay.